Hi Breakfast Cereal Eaters and welcome to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got this time? This is from 2001 and it's Kellogg's Honey Loops Walking with Beast 3D Collector Cards. Let's take a look. So turning to the front of the package you'll see a picture of two of the cards along with an image from the BBC TV series. In this case it's the uh, Bazillosaurus. When you turn this around on the reverse you had uh, another image from the, uh, the program details of the actual program itself and uh, there was this sort of profile around uh, whichever animal was actually featured on the back and I'll show you some more information on that later on. So that was uh, Sabretooth Tiger on the back of Coco Pops. On Frosties you'll see uh, there's a picture of the woolly uh, mammoth uh, and on the reverse it also has the Sabretooth Tiger as well. The slightly larger Frosties packet had a picture of the uh, Gastornis, uh, and you'll see there's also a promotion for Growl for a Grand. And on the reverse, uh, you've got uh, Land of the Giants. Rice schools featured the uh, Nacreothenia, I think that is, that's uh, this funny looking fella. Uh, and on the reverse, uh, Next of Kin. The larger Rice Krispies packet had the uh, Smilodon, the Sabretooth Tiger, and uh, Whale Killer on the reverse. There was a, a very inconspicuous small packet for Rice Krispies, so there was absolutely nothing on the front itself. Uh, but it did actually have Mammoth Journey as uh, one of their features. Now that one, uh, coincidentally, is the same as the uh, Corn Pops, where uh, you've got this uh, Hainodon uh, on the front. Uh, and again they've got the mammoth journey but you'll see actually in this case they've got slightly different variations of the uh, of the image there and just to confuse things even further uh, there was the smaller packet of uh, cocoa pops which uh, we already know had the bazillosaurus on the front uh, that too had the mammoth journey but again there's a slightly different packet uh, card featured on the back of that one choco uh, cornflakes uh, we've already had that chap there. They had Land of the Giants, which was on the back of the Frosties. And finally, you had the uh, Honey Loops, which also had the Hyenodon, which we've seen before. But this had a different one on the back uh, featuring New Dawn. So uh, obviously the birth of uh, mammals and so forth. So uh, there were actually eight different packets to sort of collect in terms of the variety of the back panels, different features. Uh, with obviously that slight variation I mentioned earlier with uh, the likes of the Mammoth Journey. So the cards themselves when they arrived they came like this. Uh, there were two cards in every packet. You could uh, just make them uh, out through looking at the actual uh, packet itself. Obviously one side was clear and the other was sort of uh, whited out. So these are the cards themselves. They, uh, uh, they're made of sort of slightly plasticky type material so it looks a bit sort of almost like lenticular cards, got a slightly 3D image to them that you might just about be able to make out. And on the reverse, it's got uh, facts about the actual uh, animal or creature itself. So uh, that's the first one, that's the uh, Hyenodon. Then you've got the uh, Gastornis. You've got the uh, Smilodon, the Sabretooth Tiger. There's the Entelodont. I'm sure I've got that name absolutely wrong. There's the uh, Lepthidium. The Dinophilus. The uh, Danotherium, I think that is. The Andrusarchus. The Basilosaurus, the uh, Megatherium, the Woolly Mammoth, and finally the Woolly Rhino. So 12 cards to collect, uh, two in each packet. Uh, they were randomly produced, so there was uh, no guarantees that the uh, uh, you know, you'd easily make this set, but uh, it was possible to get that. Now, one of the other final things that's worth showing about this series are these four books. These uh, these came with Frosties, the larger packet of Frosties, and they were sort of cellophane wrapped in. Uh, 
uh, and these were moving model booklets so it was uh, uh, quite a significant booklet actually in its own right but you'll see uh, inside they've got uh, details about the actual animal itself um, and then you can actually start to make this model so these were push out pieces that uh, all made of paper that you had to either glue and connect to uh, other parts uh, and I think it's fair to say that this was an absolute beast to make um, it took me ages to make one of these things and actually get it working but actually once you did make it this is what it looked like and you had these sort of crank handle that actually animated the character so uh, as I was saying earlier, there were four of these. Uh, that was one of them. There's another. There's the old Smilodon. You can see the image here at the bottom of uh, what it looked like. And finally, there's the uh, Woolly Mammoth as well. With again, a, an image on the bottom and on the reverse. But uh, not for the faint hearted, that one anyway. So if you're interested in this and other serial offers, please go to my website serialoffers.com click on Kellogg's and then any of the other main types of cereals.